Hey, this is Uncle Mark in uh, my office, actually. The mothership's not quite ready for uh, prime time yet with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, 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 three-string cigar box guitar. Um, today I'm plugged through my head rush. It's a, uh, actually it's a, it's a board like a, uh, like a pedal and it goes into a speaker and it's kind of like that. This song is a request for Chuck Berry, um, You Never Can Tell. And uh, the beautiful thing about this song is it's got two chords, just two. C and G. And uh, if you haven't seen my rock and roll rhythm, then uh, you're going to notice that it does this. So uh, I'm going to start out and play a little bit of this, and then we can break it down. It was a teenage wedding, and the old folks wished them well. You could see that Pierre did truly love the mademoiselle. And now the young monster and madame have rung the chapel bell. Say la vie, say the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. They furnished an apartment with a two room robot sale. The cooler and it has crammed with TV dinners and a ginger ale. But when Pierre found work, the little money come and worked out well. Say la vie, say the old folks, it goes to show you never can. That, my friends, is the whole song. So, uh, what do we got going on here? So, G, D, G. These strings are electric guitar strings. They're wound. Um, 42, 34, 24. So, as chords go, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, and it's an important chord in this song, and you can see where it is in relation to the dots. C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, and C. Another important little chord, and I'm going to show you why. And that C is the same as this C, okay? Just an octave difference. So an octave is one of those $5 words that kind of means 12 frets. So um, you should know that by now. This G and this, or this C and this C are an octave apart. Just like that G and that G are an octave apart. And this G and this G are an octave apart. Um, it's 12 frets. And that's how, that's, how the, that's how the instrument works. It's something good to know. Um, so on this D string though, that middle string, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and so on and so on and so forth. Works like so. There's a nice shape you can use if you put your first finger there on that D string on that fifth fret, where that dot is, just like the C, but that's a G note. D and D. That's a G chord. Just like that one, that one. Okay, there's another G chord and set the 12th fret. So you got three G's, one, two, three. You also have a couple of C chords, one C chord here, and we talked about this, and one C chord up here. Okay, Chuck Berry always does some kind of a little riffy thing in the beginning, and all I did was just strum on these two notes. Okay, that's a G, and that's a C, and... It takes getting used to strumming on two notes as opposed to three. So what I do is just aim for the middle string, and if I get it, great. You know, that's how I do it. I just aim and guess. Um, the more you aim and guess, the better your guesses will be, and pretty soon your guesses are going to be spot on. So I start the song out with a section of this. Now you can do a little rhythm with that finger there on the A. And then 
the song starts in C. If you haven't seen my rock and roll rhythm, it's in my beginner playlist. And really, folks, you're asking a lot of questions that have already been answered. So look in those playlists. If it says beginner playlist or just a beginner playlist, it'll really help. Also, if you're looking for different artists, you know, people go, oh yeah, do you have any of this or any of that? Look in the playlists, okay? So it saves us both a lot of time and aggravation, especially aggravation on your end because you're looking for a classic rock song and you're trying to find it and you can't. So here we go. C. And then we're going to put our middle finger or our pinky, it's totally up to you which finger you want to use, on that A note. And that's it. That's how the rhythm works. The teenage wedding and the old folks wish them well. You could see that Pierre did truly love the mademoiselle. Go with the G, open. And then you're gonna put your finger on that E. Now the young Monsieur and Madame are from the chapel bell. Say la vie, say the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. They furnished off an apartment with a two-room robot sale. The cooler radar was crammed with TV dinners and a ginger ale. But when Pierre found work, the little money come and worked out well. Say la vie, say the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. Okay, there's four sets of lyrics, of course, and there's four sets of say la vie, say the old folks. Um, so when you're fooling around with a song like this, it only has two chords. You can really do a lot of playing with it. So you can do a... Where you're playing the A here and the B flat. Then you go to the G. You can do a lot of things like that. You can also play your G here. So you can go to G. And at that point, you can use all these octaves because that open G lets you come. lot of things with those octaves so uh, a couple of things you can do for a little jamming thing you can see So what I'm doing is G, F, E, D, C, or G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. Um, and what I'm doing with those octaves is I'm actually, and I'm going to get close right here and show you, I'm putting my finger here, say, on the 12th fret and uh, my third finger there, and I'm laying down on top of this D string. So you don't hear that string. So here's the difference. If I lay down on all of them, it sounds like that. If I lay down partially and do an octave... So it's a great technique to use if you want to do some fills. Um, fills are 
where you know you don't want to sing a lyric you need to stretch the song out a little bit this song can be about two minutes long if you wanted it to be um, that was the way it was back then in the day when Chuck Berry and the Beatles and all these groups were playing songs were about two minutes two minutes and 15 seconds for radio play um, so if you want to stretch this song out do two verses and then do a thing like so back to G something like that. Um, stretch out your songs uh, as your ability it gets better. As you become more able to do more fancy things, throw them in. Just remember not to throw the same tricks, um, these types of tricks, in two songs in a row. Um, that'll, really, um, that'll really make you look um, like you're a one-trick pony, and I know that you're not. Um, all of you people out there that are learning and beginning, you learn one trick, use it one time. Um, it's very helpful to do so. Um, also, you can change the key. The key originally is C. If you wanted it to be in D, there's D, there's A, two chords, C, G. If you wanted it in B flat, G, or there's F. So all it is is C and G, or you want to be an E, you're in B. It is that simple. It is that simple to change around. It's Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Um, so uh, I want to thank everybody that has donated. Um, I do have a PayPal link down below in the show notes. Yeah, way, way, way down there. And it's a um, Uncle Mark's. Uh, tips uh, paypal.com forward slash uncle mark tips I want to thank everyone that's donated thank you so much um, really makes a difference here um, like I said I'm getting the mothership in order it's a daunting project I didn't think it would take this much time but it's it's really become a um, a daunting project and so uh, I want to say thank you so much to all you've donated everybody that shares on social media getting the word out getting subscribers and bringing people to this channel that's truly important and uh, for that I thank you so much and uh, we'll see you next time remember a buck a show is all we're asking for here thank you so much <laughs>